Hello and welcome to another update on infotainment and multimedia testing with ECU test. In this episode, I want to show you another example of how to use audio and also image testing with ECU test. This time we want to address additionally a little bit of trace analysis, uh, the combination with other interfaces that ECU test is capable of communicating with and also parameterization of a test case. So let's get started. First of all, I start the configurations to get in contact with the test bench. And I open up my test case here. It's called park distance control. And this is also what we want to test in this scenario. So the idea behind this test case is that we manipulate the distance of an obstacle in front in the front left of the vehicle um, by the residual bus simulation. And then we record the audio that's played back within the vehicle uh, and check that the beeping sound that indicates the distance of the obstacle is the correct beep and that the distance between the beeping sounds is correct for the particular distance that we parameterize here using variables. The recording is later on also used in the trace analysis to check the distance between the beep sounds over uh, the whole trace. Let's give it a try. The trace analysis is running. And that's it. Report is created. And there we, we see the report. So in our test case, we set the distance of the obstacle to 180 centimeters, so quite far away, but within the distance that the vehicle can recognize. Then we check the image of the, of the infotainment screen uh, because we have the expectation that we see this green um, indicator that there is something in the distance. The overall image looks like this. So we have the vehicle and in the front left, there is some obstacle. And the ex oh, this is expected image, this is the result image. So this is what we read. So these images are quite the same despite some artifacts from compression and therefore the result of the test step is success. Then we also read an audio block had a reference audio file and have our recorded audio file as we saw in the last update video here. And we also see that the confidence is, is quite high. We have confidences about uh, higher than 0 0.9. So over 90%, in this case, 99%. So we found the same exact audio file. And in the trace analysis, we open up these, we can first see the recording by itself. So we have these beep sounds and silence in between. And these have a certain distance. And this is what, we, what we're checking here. This is also done by parameterization. And if we go down here to the check itself, we can see that the distances were checked and all the distances here were in the expected threshold. Therefore, our test case is successful. As I said initially, the, the goal is to run different distances parameterized. Therefore, we have our ECU test project here, which is calling the park distance control test case that we just saw with different distances. We already executed 180 centimeters. Therefore, I will disable that also this and this and this. And so we can then uh, 
in a minute compare the different system behavior in, uh, in 150 centimeters and 60 centimeters should look quite diff different. We're done, we take a look at the report. So and here we see the two executions of the park distance control package with the different parameterizations. And for the 150 centimeters in the trace analysis, we can see um, that once again, the distances are pretty, pretty short, but within spec. In the test case, we can see that the distance is now closer than we had it before with 180 centimeters, but it's also as expected. And in the case of 60 centimeters, it's very close to our vehicle, the, ve the obstacle. And in the plot in here, we can also see that the beeping is much more frequent and the distances between them once again within spec. But we only checked the first couple of them. Um, it's dependent on the implementation. In this case, we checked only a maximum of, of, um, of the gaps here, but we could also extend the functionality and um, check all the distances over all the trace. Okay, that should be it for the moment. Thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you in the next update video. Bye.